This video is going to show you how you can use R to create street maps using Ordnance Survey map data. It's actually a relatively straightforward procedure and by the end of this you're going to be able to make maps that look something a bit like this. And then in subsequent videos I'll show you how to make your maps a bit neater by adding different colours and by adding labels and so on to them. So the first thing we need to do is just get the packages that we need. We need OSM data, so our Ordnance Survey Map data. We'll actually render the maps in ggplot, we'll need Tidyverse and a package called SF as well. Remember you only need to install these once, once they've been installed they are there on the computer but we do need to pull these out of the library when we use them. So in subsequent videos I'm going to show you a little bit more detail the different things that we can do with our Ordnance Survey Map data. But to begin with, I'm just going to just briefly show you the type of things that we can actually look at. If we use this command, available features, and then just click run, you see down here all the different features that we've got on our Ordnance Survey map. We've got a huge range of things that we can look at. What we're going to be particularly interested in today is that we're going to look at highways. So you can see it's all just listed alphabetically. So there's highway there. So this is a certain feature that relates to highways so or all different types of road. There is something else that we're going to look at a little bit later on, um, which is called natural. So if we look for natural, you can see there. These are natural features right above nudism as well, which is also plotted. Surprisingly enough, I may make a video plotting nudist camps later on. But anyway, so these are all the different available features. But what actually we're interested in is looking highway related features so what we can then do is we can ask for this command available tags and then we can select highway and this tells us all the different forms of highways that we have so you can see what bridleways bus stops roads proposed road roads secondary roads where speed comes are, all these things related to highways so what we're going to do is we're going to get all the roads of interest to us for the Liverpool area, which is where I am. I'm going to create a map. The first thing we need to do is set a bounding box. This is going to be the limits of our map. And um, when we're pulling in roads, we ask for it within our bounding box. There's no point pulling in all the roads in the UK or indeed the world. We just want the pulling the data for the area we're looking at. And due to, the, due to the way um, these packages work, we can just type Liverpool UK and it knows what we're doing. And I'll show you in a little bit more detail how that works later on when we need to. Okay, I'm going to create some data that's called roads. And first of all, I'm going to get my bounding box. So this is the box within all the roads I want. And it says Liverpool UK, so that's my box. And then what I need to do is tell our what sort of features, what types of roads and so on I want to get. And we do this using these commands. The first thing I do is ask for my OPQs, ask for my query, and I'll put a timeout on this. You don't need a timeout. I'll put 3,500 seconds. It's never going to take that long, but it's just an upper limit, so I'm never going to have any problems with it timing out, because sometimes if you're pulling in huge amounts of data, it may time out. This is my query. And what I'm going to ask for, I'm going to ask for my Ordnance Survey Maps features, the key being highway. And you remember when I asked for available features, highway was one of them. And then within that, the values I want are motorway, primary road, secondary road, tertiary road, residential road, living street, and unclassified. You could add more to this. You could ask for all different things like um, footpath and so on. I'm just going to stick with that for now. Then I'm going to save that as simple features. So this is going to make me all my it's going to pull out all the roads that are tagged with motorway primary secondary tertiary residential living streets or unclassified within my liverpool uk bounding box so i just run that this may take a little bit of time to run but then you can see up here i've got my roads have appeared here and there you go it's um, 266.2 megabytes so it's quite a lot of data that we've pulled in there now we add these to a map simply using ggplot. Now, one of the things we, we are going to have to tell ggplot is, again, what our bounding box is. So we're going to need to tell it what area that we're going to cover. 
because it essentially doesn't know at the moment. Luckily, this command that we've written here can give us the exact information that we're going to need. So if you run this, you'll see what's going to give us. These are the coordinates that we need for our Liverpool bounding box. And I'm going to actually put these up here. And I'll just hash them out so it doesn't run it as code because we're going to have to add these numbers manually in a moment. We need to put all this onto our map. So we're going to call this map Liverpool Map 1. And it's a GG plot. It's made up of our geometric simple features. And the data is our roads that we made earlier. We leave inherit aesthetics false. I'm just going to have them as black roads. So we're basically saying, I want you to plot this data that I've just made, but we've got to give it a sort of frame, which it's going to plot it all in. And this is why we need these numbers now. So all we need to do is tell it the co coordinates for our simple features. And then you can see our X coordinates range from minus 3.151 to minus 2.8. 3, 1, and then you can see we do the same for the y coordinates. So you can just copy and paste them in. But remember, if you do copy and paste them, don't forget your commas. Expand equals false. And that's basically it. So we can run that, and that's going to do our map. And then, if we simply just ask for our map here, for our Liverpool map number one, it takes a few moments, but here's our map. Now you can see it's plotted all our streets, and this is our Liverpool area the Wirral Peninsula there. So that's the real basics of doing it. Now you will note this is a coastal area, it's not that there's no road, there's no roads here for a good reason, it's all rivers and sea, and it's part from the tunnel there that is mapped. So you can see we get this problem with coastlines, because there's no road along the coast, that's just a beach. Again, there's beach there, so we've got a bit of an issue there that we haven't got these exact roads. So, but what we can do relatively straightforward, we can add a coastline to it, we can add any feature we want that the Ordnance Survey data holds and of course coastlines one of them so let's just add a coastline to this map to make it look a bit more sensible now if you just remember very early on when we did this we looked at available features and all these different forms of features down here and the feature that we're interested it comes under natural so we're going to look under natural and then under natural you can write available tags for natural you run that you can see these are our natural things it's got like all sorts of things geysers glaciers none of them around where i live however what we do have is coastline and that's what we need to put in so we can do this in exactly the same way we did earlier so let's just go and steal the code from earlier for anything you add you can just recycle the code that you've used So we're going to call this one, let's call it coast. Bound and box is the same. Query timeout is going to be the same. The key for the feature now though is natural. And then we've only got one thing that we want here. Which is our coastline. So we can run that and now it's going to create us a little set of data there we've got all our big list of coastline information there so now we can add it to this map so that's again all you need to do is copy and paste the map and we just need to add let's just copy this So really the only thing we want to change, we'll leave the color black, we'll do everything else the same. We just need to change this and we need to add our coast to it. And you can just keep adding features like this. And we'll just call this one now though, we'll change it to Liverpool Map 2 and Liverpool Map 2. Let's run this one. And again, things may take a while, don't worry if it takes a few minutes to produce your maps. It can do. And now let's zoom on this. 
And now you can see it's filled in our coastline. So where the beaches are, it's done the coastlines for us. But you can see now it's put our coastline in. So we've now done our street map of the Liverpool area. Final thing I'll show you in this tutorial though, I'm just going to show you how to get rid of this information, get rid of the grid and so on like that. Let's just make the map a little bit cleaner. To do that, we can take exactly the same map as we had before. I'm just going to call it map number three. But we just need to tell it to get rid of some features. And to do that, it's like we do it's for um, many things in ggplot. The commands are always the same. We have this set of commands here. Our axis text on the x axis, we want it blank, ticks are blank, and then the same for y, text and ticks are blank. And the theme, the, um, the panel grid is transparent. The background, we're going to do it in like a grey colour, and that's basically it. So that's going to get rid of our grid, give us a grey background, get rid of all the ticks on the axes, and so on. There you go, so it's given us a nice map here with our plain background, no, no ticks on it, and that is our street map of the Liverpool area. And um, in future tutorials, I'll show you how to change colours, change different thickness on roads, add um, different labels to the map so you can you know you can write the city name on it and so on. So you can do a lot more information. I'll show you how to plot different um, things that appear on the um, Ordnance Survey database as well.